Morning before coming to the Sunshine State, over the weekend, the NAACP issued a formal travel advisory for Florida. It's been months in the making after the fight over AP African American classes. Now, some educators are weighing in. Wake News anchor Annette Montgomery joins us in studio. Annette, how are diversity, equity, and inclusion professors reacting to this? Amanda and Russ, the ones I've talked with today, including the president of the National Education Association, support the NAACP's action. They fear Florida is misrepresenting the historical contributions of African Americans and other minorities, and they said they must send a message. Aiming to hit Florida where it hurts, in its pocketbooks. We are advising African Americans and others that if you travel to Florida, beware. The NAACP, along with the League of United Latin American Citizens and Equality Florida, want the world to know they believe Florida devalues and marginalizes the contributions and challenges faced by African Americans and other minorities. The warning's ripple effect could show up in Florida's many colleges and universities. It's simply telling people, this is what you get if you come. Dr. Peter Denui teaches classes centered around diversity, equity, and inclusion at FGCU. He said the governor's decision to sign into law a measure that prohibits spending state monies on DEI and decision to ban a new AP African American Studies class led to the travel advisory and could make an immediate impact. Because I know a number of my colleagues who are removing their children here, yeah, they are moving to other states because they don't want their children to be taught the wrong stuff and to feel like their history does not matter. Dear Nui says while the travel advisory does not tell people not to visit Florida, that may be the result. In the short run, it could limit some people or maybe even some educators who are applying to come and teach in colleges here. And I reached out to the governor's office for comment about this advisory, and they sent me a link of the governor calling this advisory a joke and a stunt in March. They also sent me a link to the governor's statement from last week about Florida seeing record-breaking tourism numbers. Back to you. I didn't